talk now a little Thanksgiving. It's not just about the turkey this morning. Oh, we want to know what do you pair up with the turkey? Maybe uh, some cocktails. Cody Alcorn is out there in our newsroom with the chef from the green room. I'm excited to hear about this, Cody. I am too, because you know, I think an important part of Thanksgiving dinner is the cocktails. You have to have a good drink to go with the turkey. And join us is Chef Long from the green room. So, Chef, we have bourbon and we have champagne. So, we'll start down here with the bourbon because. Explain what's going on here. Uh, this is basically hard apple cider. I've got my warm apple cider right here, and I pretty much just pour a little bit in each little cup that I do. And then depending on how much bourbon you would like, you know, you'd save enough room for it. And then... And that's plenty. Right? That's... <laughs> and then uh, sometimes you can warm up the bourbon with the apple cider, but I prefer to put it in there just so I don't end up evaporating any of my alcohol. So it's probably a good dessert type. It is. It's a good finisher to the meal, you know, nice nice cap on, you know, stuffing yourself, and you can sit down with a nice warm cup of apple cider. And then over here I've got a little bit of champagne that uh, is good with uh, some pomegranate juice, and I've got a pomegranate right there in front of you. So while you're opening that, I'm going to try this, hopefully. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's hopefully good. I didn't put too much of it in for this one. <laughs> Surprise! Nice. <laughs> so walk us through here what we're doing. Just uh, champagne. Just and... a little bit of champagne and uh, pomegranates in case... Oh, there we go. I don't know how to pour champagne. And then, got a pomegranate right here, and this is a really neat fruit. Oh, nice. If you look on the inside, it's uh, all you really want is just these seeds right here. That's good. <laughs> yeah. And then you end up with these little guys right here, and you can uh, top off your champagne. So now, with those seeds, do you press out the juice there? To make uh, yeah, pretty much you just push it through a strainer to get a little bit of the pomegranate juice, and you can make your champagne pink. Rosé color. Oh, nice. And then uh, throw a little couple extra seeds in there and give it a little crunch. Well, I'll tell you, I got to let the bourbon uh, cool down. It's a little warm, but this is perfect. I think we need this on the morning show. Morning cocktail. <laughs> Definitely. <on the> <laughs> yeah, 8.30 in the morning. Nothing beats it. All right, well, <laughs> Chef Long is here again from the green room. He's going to take your questions, too. You can go to our Facebook page, ask him any questions. Now, coming up in the next half hour, how you don't even have to cook. If you don't want to cook, well, the green room can help you on that, and we will explain that and a special menu they have offering tomorrow as well when we get back here in the newsroom. And I'm here to cheers. No baked desserts. Hmm. I forgot about that too. No baked desserts coming up as well, but for a lot of people, this could be your dessert, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Cody. We'll check back. Exactly. <laughs>